school, that's not gonna stay. That is not gonna stay. Eh. Hello. Um, I feel like I have to be like hunched over, but I don't know where my little tripody thing is, like screws on, and the only thing I have is this giant bottle of ginger ale, but the top is too rounded to set you on. <laughs> And you can probably hear my dog crunching in the background, as usual. Um, I just refilled her food container. Had to go get a bag of dog food from PetSmart. Um, yeah, anyways. Um, I don't know what this vlog is going to be about. I hopefully will post it. I'm really bad at posting vlogs. I feel like I get very overwhelmed by them needing to be, like, aesthetically pleasing. And not just me talking to the camera the whole time, like, spilling my thoughts. Um, maybe I can put this... Oh, my chair makes the most awful noises. Okay. Not tall enough, really, but it'll have to do. Oh, I know what we can do. Just set you on top of there. There we go. You're a little wiggly, but, you know... Anyways, so I have been making these, um, I've been trying to restock some stuff that is low, so I spent two weeks before this, Abby, oh my god, that sound is like the worst sound ever, I spent two weeks before this making scrunchies, so these are what the scrunchies look before there's, looks like, before there's elastic in them, there's a little and then I put the last again. I have a huge pile of more to do but I wanted to restock the store because there wasn't that many left and um, people were asking for different colors and they had been for a while so um, I wanted that was kind of like the most important thing was getting the store restocked and so I got that redone and um, then I was like I really want to make something bow-y bow-ish um, you know because everybody's like loving bows right now so anyway um i thought you know i have a ton of little alligator clips these are like these except um the ones i use are much smaller um these are the ones i use for the button clips so they have little buttons on them that's not going to focus oh there it is okay so they buttons on them like that um, and the bigger ones are better for that because it fits more buttons, but also um, They're a bit more of a statement, right? I wanted to make something with bows on it So I thought ooh, I could make little teeny alligator clips uh, With some bows, right? I don't know how to show this to you without my finger in the way. There we go um, I wish it would focus not on my face mm, Hello Anyway, this is what they look like. I made some blue ones. This one, the um, ribbon is thinner than the pink. Um, oops, wrong pile. Um, these are all using vintage uh, ribbon that I found a few years ago. I like bought it myself. It's so not even out of my grandma's stash. This one, I really like this color. I also made a cream set. So anyway, um, I've made all these. I These ones have been like glued down properly, so like they're not going to come off of the covered um, clip. So what I did was I covered the clip with ribbon to start off with, then I made the bow, then I glued the bow down, and they're not glued with hot glue, okay? They're, glue, they're glued with like a really smelly like industrial glue. But it means they'll stay, okay? That's the important part. Because hot glue will come off very easily. And I don't want that. I want them to last, right? Um, so anyway, they these ones, the pink and uh, cream ones are all done. Except I need to trim these a little. And also um, fry the edges. Like um, melt the edges so they don't fray. And the blue ones all need to be properly glued down so they won't come off. They're a little sticky uppy still. And um, they need to be adjusted a little so that they won't come undone. Because uh, they, 
the way they glue down, it, depending on where the glue goes, they can be untied, and I don't want that. We do not want them to come untied. Again, these need to be trimmed and um, singed. Uh, so I made six blue ones, like I think eight or ten pink ones, one set of these ones, and then one set of these. And then I also made a bunch of the button clips as well um, because I needed to restock those because mostly all I have left of those is like a small handful of them and they're all like gold I think. Um, I found a stash at one point in time in my stuff and was able to bring it to the store to restock it so yeah um that is what i'm doing and i have a few more um button clips to make too um this glue i use these tiny tubes of um either e6000 or this is the gorilla glue um contact adhesive and I use this glue specifically like in the in the little tubes because when you get the big tubes they get quite hard after they've been opened for a while and then you end up wasting half the tube, right? And I don't want that. So I buy them in the little tubes so they don't waste all the glue. And they get quite gunky with the other ones too. Um, these ones less gunky and are much easier to clean off. So anyway, that's what I'm doing. Okay, so a problem has been encountered. Um, this ribbon, um, it must have some like something in it that catches fire, okay? So this ribbon is pretty much the same, it, I thought, um, but it melts it up beautifully and didn't leave like any black char the pink one caught on fire um and i am not about to burn my house down for some bows so i am gonna have to figure out another way to trim those um or to like finish off the ends uh i don't know if i have oh i do have some glue one second Okay, so this is a uh, leather weld that I decanted into this bottle. Um, I hope it's okay, like it sounds liquidy still, um, but I hope I can get it out of here so that I can just put a little on the edge, you know?
started this vlog and then didn't continue it at all. Mm. Messy, greasy hair right now. It's okay. I'm getting ready to film a video. And I desperately need a haircut. Oh, but I'm using the camera to see. I think I will like it more on top of my head. It's cute. Does anybody have like one side of their hair which is well behaved? does what you tell it to do and then the other side is not well behaved and never like curls properly, straightens properly, clips up properly, goes in a ponytail properly. This side of my head always has like a lump or something, okay? And I don't like doing videos with my hair down because I feel like um, touching my hair is sort of like a stim for me, where I just like can't help myself, so it feels weird, and like I just keep touching it, and I, I have no idea I'm doing it until I have gone to edit the video and realize I've been touching my hair the whole time. Anyways, let's move y'all back. And you're kind of like at the very um, limit of the cord for my ring light because you're in the ring light right now. And also you feel a little uh, lopsided. Yeah, I think you might be actually. I hope that's more level. I hope so. Anyways, um, it also feels like you guys are a little too tall. I had to move this for when I was filming the bookshelf tour. If you haven't seen it, go watch it because like nobody saw it. Nobody watched it. I understand. It's a boring ass video, but sometimes you just got to have the filler stuff just like the basic videos. Not everything can be awesome. Anyways, um, ooh, all right then. I'm gonna turn this off and then start my actual video because as usual, I am filming this the day it needs to go up, within hours of it needing to go up. I was actually going to just use another video that I have pre-filmed um, instead of doing this, the one I'm about to do, because this one could get me in a little bit of trouble, um, with the brand I'm about to talk to you about, um, but I'll be honest, uh, I think it needs to be said. I don't know how many people will watch it, because it's pretty specific to, um, Canadian, uh, plus size people, and you will definitely have seen the video before, uh, this video comes out, so go watch it um or you've probably already seen it i don't know um but yeah i'm not sure if you can hear me over the um vent over the fan in my car uh i am running late to go to the store to work it's valentine's day and i'm covering the store for the owner I'm really excited actually for this week in the store because tomorrow night we're hosting our first ever workshop in the new space and it's a felting workshop. 
um, which my friend Holly is running, and I get to work it, but I also get to take the class, and I felt it before, so like I kind of know what I'm doing, but I've never made like food items, which we're making radishes today. I've never made like fun items. The only things I've ever needle felted have been for school, and we weren't allowed to make fun things. All right, so I made it to the store um, with a few minutes to spare, and um, it's, you know, you don't need to see me open the store. You've seen it a million times before. It's pretty easy peasy, lemon squeezy, um, and it's like quarter after 11, and I've already had a couple customers, hence why I haven't had a chance to chat with y'all since I got in. Um... But yeah, it's a bright sunny day. It's bright and sunny out there. Well. Um, which is great because yesterday was gloomy as fuck. And um I <clears throat> And it's just nice to see the sun every once in a while in February. Um, last weekend we had like false spring because it was like 12 degrees Celsius outside and nobody needed a coat. It was great because we had um, a Lunar New Year event here. Oops, I gotta go. have an observation it's valentine's day right and we always assume that men are going to be the ones coming in last minute and don't get me wrong they definitely are coming in to buy cards and gifts last minute but it's been like a three to one ratio of women buying cards valentine's cards last minute and valentine gifts last minute versus men i don't know if that means that men are more prepared this year or it means that less men are buying valentines than women Hello and happy Saturday. Actually, it's four minutes to open in the store and there are already people circling and I'm whispering because I don't know if they'll be able to hear me because I can hear them when they talk outside the front door. But there's people circling already because we got plants. This is the first time we've ever had plants for sale and there's no, there used to be a plant store on the same street as us and well, before we moved, it was around the corner, like very easy walk from us. So people would buy a cute planter which we're kind of low on right now actually um but we will be getting more but people will buy a cute planter from us and then go around the corner to the plant store and buy a plant and they closed the same month that we opened over here so we've been trying to get plants for a while 
and that, like I have nothing to do with it like I just show up and hang out and the owner does all of the work um you know when I like ring people up and make sure the store is presentable and stuff like that and make stuff for the store but otherwise um but yeah people are already circling in front of the store like passing by casually pointing and tapping on the window at the plants feels like we should put a no tapping on the window sign you might scare the plants um anyway that would be really funny uh you probably can't hear that but the first set of church bells is going so it means i only have a couple more minutes before uh it is time to open and i really need to tidy the cards again so let's go do that but first i need to change the battery in my camera Today's a really exciting day actually because I'm training um, a new person. We have somebody new starting working with us. She's working on Sundays. And, uh, sorry, I'm out of breath because, you know, uh, I am unfit. We have a new person starting and um, she was in last Saturday to train. It was very busy because lunar new year and um so this should be a little more chill um i hope anyway so um yeah it's quite warm in here i wonder why um anyways can't mess with the heat because if i turn the heat down it turns it down for the apartments upstairs and we don't want them freezing because it's quite cold out so i'm sure once the door starts opening and closing a bunch it'll cool down a bit Anyway, I'm gonna eat some breakfast, I think, and um, then go back and tidy the rest of the cards. need to charge the airpods that I've been carrying around in my purse simply so they stop telling me I left them behind um yeah anyway oh I want to show you the um bracelet I made um so I want to make some friendship bracelets for myself and Maybe sell, I'm not 100% sure, because I have a lot of beads. And I think I've shown you I was making these, like, little um, beaded bows. But I'm not so sure about them. Like, they look cute, but they take so many beads. And I don't really make necklaces, nor have the ability to make necklaces right now. Um, they might be cute as little, like, earrings, um, maybe just, like, on a hoop or something. Not sure, haven't looked into it yet, but, um, I'm still, thoughts are happening with them, right? Um, and because I work only, only with recycled beads, um, I struggle because the wire doesn't fit through the center bead on a lot of them three times so anyway it's been a problem um so I've been trying to figure out what to do with all of my beads because I have all of these all of these and I have left over from making the friendship bracelets for that event last October a ton of letter beads plus like four more packages of black ones um so what can I do with them, right? Well, I thought 
let's make some friendship um, bracelets. And so I made a pearl one and it just says WTF on it. You know, um, you probably won't be able to see that, it's not gonna focus. Then I made this one with like hematite um, beads and it says happy thoughts, you know, like the store I work at. And they're on a stretchy elastic, they fit my wrist. So they're definitely fat friendly, although I probably wouldn't make them all this big if I was making them because where I sell stuff is not only fat people that shop, right? So I would make a few, a couple different sizes, I think. Anyway, um, they turned out really cute and I really like them. I don't think I would put happy thoughts on all of them um, or any of them. Um, because it's a lot of letters, but I like the WTF one, and, um, I might put, like, other swear words, or other fun, like, just nice words, I don't know, I haven't decided yet, um, but I have a whole roll of elastic and even more beads to process, um, and put in containers, I just, um, ran out of space in this big container here. I only have one empty space left, and yeah, um, I took apart one necklace, and I'm not even done taking it apart, and it filled up like three quarters of that container. Anyway, uh, so that's what I'm going to be working on. Um, I also had to get new blades for my Cricut, that's what these are, um, and I also got a new mat because it was on sale at Michael's. I never buy replacement blades directly from Michaels or in the Cricut brand because they're so expensive. I got, I think there's 10 in here for like $8 and that's amazing. It's like $16 for one through the Cricut brand and these are just as good. So I'm going to finish taking apart these two necklaces that I have here. So I have this one, um, which is like halfway done. Um, it's like multi-strand and it's all strung up and I'm going to sort out the beads I want to keep and the beads I don't want to keep out of that and then I also have this one that's purple with these tiny little beads on it um, and it has actually three different kinds of beads in here um, or three different colors at least so I'm going to uh, take this one apart too and sort them put them in the little bins and um i think that's all i have to report oh look we moved to a new corner of my studio um it's a few hours later now and uh, that is not the view i want you to have okay one second here That's about as good as it's getting. Okay, so um, I'm not sure if you guys remember when I made these earrings, they're butterflies um, on like an iridescent leather. Okay, so I sold a bunch of them, but then I also made a lot of them and some of the metal, like the silver ones, like have tarnished weirdly um, and they, the gold ones did not, okay? They did not. And I'm not happy with the fact that it's tarnished. Um, I don't hate how it looks, it just... Other people won't understand. Anyway. Um, also, because of how long they've sat without being worn, um, the posts are not looking too great either, and I don't want to sell them looking like that. So I'm actually going to take them apart. And I'm going to take off the part with the earring stud part. And I'm going to rework them into, like, hoop earrings. Oops, while I'm throwing these around. Um, because I'm going to, like, uh, I think I'm going to layer them up like two butterflies together. Glue them together. Um, so they'll look good from the front and the back. And we'll see how that works. Um, I did that. I had these yellow smileys. Um that I made a few pairs of and it's very thin leather and it just doesn't look the best when it's just one layer so I've just glued these they're still wet um 
so that'll make three pairs of earrings as opposed to the six I had before. I'm going to do some gluing with these ones as well to make the strawberries thicker and nicer looking on both sides. Um, also, I have these Monstera ones. I might, I don't have a lot of Monstera ones left, um, but I might try and like glue these ones together because like, look at the hoop. If the hoop is awful. Oh, you won't be able to see that. Um, and I have enough that I can glue and get one pair out of it. Same with a pair of black ones. A lot of other stuff is perfectly fine and wasn't affected by like being boxed up and um, all that. So now I just have to go through and pull the little rubber backs off of everything. And then I'll have to go through and take each earring apart, glue them, leave them to set overnight, and then put them on hoops. And I'm not even sure if I have enough hoops to do all of these. Happy Tuesday, y'all. I just realized I was about to export the footage um, from this memory card. I didn't end the vlog, which is, you know, big no-no. Anyways, um, this is the end of the vlog. Thank you for joining me um, yet again. Um, <clears throat> I don't even know what to say in these things. Like, like the video, subscribe, leave a comment share it with your friends, you know, all the things. If you've been on YouTube for any number of years, you know the deal. Um, anyways, that's all I have to say. Uh, today marks the start of a very long uh, work week because I'm covering for um, the owner's vacation. And well, normally, like for people who work every day normally, that wouldn't be such a big deal um but not like being out of my house so much um like double the amount is a lot for me anyways um the battery is flashing on here so i'm gonna go thanks for hanging out have a great day um i'm hopefully gonna be able to get this edited today so it can be up but we'll see because i'm really bad at editing things in the store while i'm working so um have a great day bye